Hello, and welcome to the short, short version by Lynn, stage manager. Today we're looking at Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's opera, Don Giovanni. Some call it his greatest musical achievement. If written today, it would be the propaganda piece for the Me Too movement. The setting. A city in Spain, mid-1700s. In the age of enlightenment. Sure it is. The characters. Don Giovanni, nobleman, womanizer, rogue, libertine, and ne'er-do-well. Donna Elvira, his scorned lover, who for some reason has a deep-seated passion for Giovanni after being dumped. Get it together, girl, you're too good for him. Donna Anna, his latest victim. Commendatore, Donna Anna's father, and upstanding nobleman. And a bunch of other characters, you'll have to see the opera to find out about them. On to the story. Act 1. Giovanni attempts to have his way with Donna Anna and fails. Her father, Commendatore, confronts him and is slain by Giovanni. Sad face. Giovanni is pursued by Donna Elvira, who shows up at awkward moments during the rest of the opera, interrupting his conquests. He spends the rest of the act infuriating and alienating everyone, all while trying to blame someone else for his actions. Sound familiar? Act 2. Giovanni continues to dodge those who pursue him while trying to get under the skirts of anything that passes him by. Anything. Eventually, while roaming around in a graveyard like Gidu, he runs into the ghost of the Commendatore. Remember the guy he murdered at top of the opera? And he invites the ghost to dinner. Okay? Commendatore shows up at dinner and demands that Giovanni repent for all his sins against humanity. Of course, Giovanni arrogantly refuses, and the commendatory drags him to hell. And that's the short, short version. If you're enjoying the series, please consider donating to the Artist Relief Tree or Agma Relief Fund. Links are in the comments below. Thank you for your support and for watching the short, short version.